Religious disaffiliation is the act of leaving a faith, or a religious group or community. It is in many respects the reverse of religious conversion. Several other terms are used for this process, though each of these terms may have slightly different meanings and connotations. Researchers employ a variety of terms to describe disaffiliation, including defection, apostasy, and disengagement. This is in contrast to excommunication, which is disaffiliation from a religious organization imposed punitively on a member, rather than willfully undertaken by the member. If religious affiliation was a big part of a leaver's social life and identity, then leaving can be a wrenching experience, and some religious groups aggravate the process with hostile reactions and shunning. Some people who were not particularly religious see leaving as not all that big a deal and entailing few personal consequences, especially if they are younger people in secularized countries. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Human rights. In 1993, the UN's Human Rights Committee declared that Article 18 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights protects theistic, non-theistic and atheistic beliefs, as well as the right not to profess any religion or belief." The committee further stated that, "...the freedom to have or to adopt a religion or belief necessarily entails the freedom to choose a religion or belief, including the right to replace one's current religion or belief with another or to adopt atheistic views." Signatories to the convention are barred from the use of threat of physical force or penal sanctions to compel believers or non-believers to recant their beliefs or convert. Despite this, minority religions are still persecuted in many parts of the world. While most Western societies permit their citizens to choose their religion, many Muslim majority countries forbid people recognized by the state as Muslim to change their religion. In some cases, religious disaffiliation is coerced. Some religious people are expelled or excommunicated by their religious groups. Some family members of people who join cults or new religious movements feel concerned that cults are using mind control to keep them away from their families, and support forcefully removing them from the group and deprogramming them. <laughs> <laughs> Stages of religious disaffiliation Brinkerhoff and Burke 1980 argue that Religious disaffiliation is a gradual, cumulative social process in which negative labeling may act as a catalyst, accelerating the journey of apostasy while giving it form and direction. They also argue that the process of religious disaffiliation includes the member stopping believing but continuing to participate in rituals, and that the element of doubt underlies many of the theoretical assumptions dealing with apostasy. In her article about ex nuns, Eba describes four stages characteristic of role exit First doubts, Seeking and weighing role alternatives, A turning point. Establishing an ex-role identity, in the two samples studied by Eba the vast majority of the ex-nuns remained Catholics. Psychological and social aspects According to Meredith Maguire, 2002, in a book about the social context in religion, if the religious affiliation was a big part of a leaver's social life and identity, then leaving can be a wrenching experience, and the way in which one leaves a religious group is another factor that may aggravate problems. Maguire writes that if the response of the group is hostile, or follows an attempt by that person to change the group from the inside, before leaving, then the process of leaving will be fraught with considerable emotional and social tensions. The Handbook of Religion and Health describes a survey by Fiegelman 1992, who examined happiness in Americans who have given up religion, in which it was found that there was little relationship between religious disaffiliation and unhappiness. A survey by Kosman and Lachman 1993, also cited in this handbook, indicates that people with no religious affiliation appear to be at greater risk for depressive symptoms than those affiliated with the religion. Apostates of new religious groups often have mixed feelings about the group they have left. Massimo Intravene in his Defectors, Ordinary Leavetakers and Apostates defines three types of narratives constructed by apostates of new religious movements. Type 1 narratives characterize the exit process as defection, in which the organization and the former member negotiate an exiting process aimed at minimizing the damage for both parties. 
Type II narratives involve a minimal degree of negotiation between the exiting member, the organization they intend to leave, and the environment or society at large, implying that the ordinary apostate holds no strong feelings concerning his past experience in the group. They may make comments on the organization's more negative features or shortcomings while also recognizing that there was something positive in the experience. Type III narratives are characterized by the ex member dramatically reversing their loyalties and becoming a professional enemy of the organization they have left. These apostates often join an oppositional coalition fighting the organization, often claiming victimization. Intravene argues that apostates professing Type II narratives prevail among exiting members of controversial groups or organizations, while apostates that profess Type III narratives are a vociferous minority. Although some of the above studies indicate a positive correlation between religious belief and happiness, in any event it is a separate task to distinguish between alternative causal explanations including the following, that religious belief itself in fact promotes satisfaction and that non-belief does not promote satisfaction and or promotes dissatisfaction, that satisfaction and dissatisfaction contribute to religious belief and disbelief, respectively, i.e., that satisfied persons are more inclined to endorse the existence of a traditionally defined deity whose attributes include omnibenevolence than are dissatisfied persons, who may perceive their unhappiness as evidence that no deity exists as in atheism or that whatever deity exists is less than omnibenevolent as in deism or maltheism, that although religious belief does not itself promote satisfaction, satisfaction is influenced by a third factor that correlates significantly with religious belief, e.g., a divine providence is bestowed by a deity who shows favor to believers and or disfavor to nonbelievers or b Sociopolitical ostracism of self-declared nonbelievers and or fear of such ostracism by closeted nonbelievers, and that the process of religious disaffiliation involves traumatic stress whose effects limit, to either a subclinical or a clinical extent, a person's later ability to be happy even in the absence of actual or feared ostracism. Topic see also Apostasy in Christianity, Apostasy in Islam, Apostasy in Judaism Debaptism Exit Counseling Ex-Mormon Formal Act of Defection from the Catholic Church Religious Intolerance Secularization Shunning Spiritual Abuse topic References topic Further reading Oaks, Len Dr. Prophetic Charisma, The Psychology of Revolutionary Religious Personalities, 1997, Syracuse University Press ISBN 0-8156-0398-3 Wright, Stuart A. Leaving Cults, The Dynamics of Defection, published by the Society for the Scientific Study of Religion, Monograph Series NR. 7 1987 ISBN 0 6 5 External links Apostasy and Defection Entry by Ross P. Shearer in the Encyclopedia of Religion and Society edited by William H. Swatos, Jr.